G'day guys, and welcome to this week's episode of... Just the Tip. All right, this week on Just the Tip, I am going to show you how to make these go fast parts look factory. So here I've got a nice Eater Brock intake manifold, brand new. It's a Performer RPM. Uh, obviously, it is a high-end unit, brand spanking new in aluminium. Now, not that I'm uh, anything wrong with Edelbrock, obviously it's a high-end product, but I want the engine bay that this motor is going into to look factory. Some people may be thinking I'm crazy, but uh, some people like the factory look. I'm one of those people, uh, like my XY Falcon, that had a Holly open plane manifold on it, and I painted that up all to look factory. One of the best examples I can think of is Benny Elite's uh, Commodore Wagon. Uh, it's done up with an LS but it's all made to look original and I love the look of that thing. So I want to show you how I get rid of all the Edelbrock stuff to make it look all cast and factory and make it a bit of a wolf in sheep skin. Okay, so first off, we're doing some grinding. I'm gonna get my flapper disc. It's totally thrashed, probably not gonna work very well. But basically we're gonna get Perform RPM off, Edelbrock off and Made in USA. All deleted. Now, as you can see, I've only done one side, obviously, and I've used a flap disc, even though this thing is out thrashed out, I find that they, um, give a lot nicer finish and they're a little bit easier to control than like a stone disc. So I've got all that nice and smooth. I've tried not to go too hardcore. Um, yeah, I definitely should have masked up the uh, plenum there. So don't tell my engine builder, but I'll give that a good blowout and a clean and stuff. And now for my trick to make this look like it's been cast again, because obviously it's now shiny, uh, onto my little air scaler. I use this to put the, uh, the pattern back into the textured pattern back into the, uh, the metal and then depending on how that comes up we can also give a bit of a light sandblast as well which makes it look uh, even a little bit better again. How easy is that? I was gonna try and maybe even get this thing in paint for you guys tonight, but there's no point because it's gonna get painted on the engine once it's all assembled. So you guys are gonna have to use your imagination with the rest of it. But as you can see, this come out beautifully. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother hitting this with uh, my little sandblaster because the texture's almost dead on. So that's more or less how you make performance parts be uh, a little bit more sneaky. One other thing guys, I forgot to mention, how awesome is my new air compressor? I only got this wired up a couple of days ago by my mate Daniel Cook, I've known since I was a little kid. Super happy, this is a beast. It's a five and a half horsepower, 200 liters, and I'll be able to get heaps done with this thing. Uh, this was from Total Tools, it was like less than 1500 bucks, so super happy with that score. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's my manifold trick. I'm gonna be doing the exact same for some aluminum heads that I'm doing soon. Um, yeah, thanks for coming back. I'll see you all again for another week's episode of Just the Tip. And I don't know.